And I think we are live. Yeah, hi. Hello. Welcome to the episode one of our Elix adventure. How long that adventure is going to be, I have no idea. But I do plan to wait for some. Drop into the game quickly. Uh, there we go. <clears throat> so, yes. Um, trying to. Okay. Music seems to be a little bit quiet. So, uh, although it's 100. No, uh, it's 50%. Let's increase it to, let's say, yes, yeah, 60. So. Um. Yeah, that hopefully will be sufficient to game. <clears throat> uh, let's get back and I suppose we can start the game. No need to kind of... Uh... <laughs> yeah, let's play on normal. It's, you know, it's one of those janktastic adventures. So basically extra junk adds, uh, you know, to extra difficulty. Magalan. Home to a civilization of millions. Until the comet hit. Earthquakes shattered its cities. Firestorms swept the planet. And as Magellan fell into darkness, the survivors faced a world that was unrecognizable. Fighting amongst the ruins of the old world, new factions arose. The Berserkers, the clerics, the outlaws, each with their own vision of the future. But it wasn't only the struggle for scarce old world resources that drove them, for the comet had bought something new. Elix, an element unknown to Magellan. It could fuel technology, change the evolution of life, open new abilities to those with the will to control it. For the clerics, it drove new technological innovation. For the outlaws, drugs to free their minds. To berserkers, it gave the power of magic. Seduced by Elix's power, some began to consume it. Addicted, overwhelmed, most degenerated into vicious, mindless mutants. But there were some who could control their addiction. To them, at the cost of their emotions, Elix offered strength, focus, and stamina. These people called themselves the Albs. Seemingly unstoppable, the Albs have waged war on all who will stand between them and their need to obtain Elix. Advancing from the frozen wastes of Zaykor and their fortress ice palace, the Albs threatened the future of all the factions on Magellan. Now, as Alb forces prepare their final assault, Jax, renowned Alb commander, is sent on a solo mission. One Alb selected to change the fate of Magellan. And that's the story. Boy. Yes. It's sort of quite interesting.
Hey, hey, Drew. I'm pretty good. Still recovering, but I'm okay. How about you? <laughs> Jax, you failed your mission. You know our directive. There can be only one consequence for failure. And that's it. End of the game. Okay, we can go home. Bye. <laughs> oh, nice. You got one. Which one did you get? Nice. That's a, that's a pretty good one. How much did you pay for it? If you don't mind me asking. And here we are. So yes, we've been shot down and uh, nearly murdered by our own people and some assholes stole all our gear. Not the best way to start an adventure, but... Yeah, so... Prepare for a lot of... I should you know, be dead. I yeah. better move. Before they come back to finish the job. And I better find a weapon. So we'll do just that. So yeah. The junkiest adventures have officially begun. This is gonna be <laughs> interesting. 855, yeah, that's that's quite a lot, <laughs> unfortunately. But yeah, that's the. Uh, how much is it supposed to be originally? Like what, three hundred? I think originally it was supposed to be like between three and four hundred. But yeah. Ah, oof. Still, I am glad that you are happy. Nice. It's like. Uh, this kind of uh, price range is uh, out of my reach, like, totally, so... <laughs> Not even gonna, you know, uh, try looking for GPUs at this point. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. A couple of arrows in here, so let's collect them. Ooh, I don't know what kind of character uh, I'm going to play. <clears throat> what kind of, you know, type of character. Whether we're gonna go melee or ranged. And if we're gonna go ranged, what kind of ranged weapons are we gonna use? So, yeah, there's that. Let me see. Oop, is that? Yeah, that's why it is safe. Good. I must have been here for days. The Elix is gone for my system. I feel weak. Think. <laughs> Think, Jax. My weapons. My armor. Did Kallax take them? No. No. If Kallax had seen I was still alive, he would have finished the job. It was someone else. This is Zidane. Enemy territory. If Kallax returns, or if the Berserkers find me, I'll be dead for sure. Yeah, having grass in games is, uh, yeah, definitely improvement, you know, um, visual improvement. Hmm, let's see, anything else to actually collect over Old here? World ruins. Maybe I could find something useful in there. Ooh. Oh yeah, a quick tutorial. Combine quick attacks, left most button, heavy attacks, E. Um, to combos. The longer the combo, the more damage you deal. Always keep an eye on your stamina. 
which is not very helpful that it's over here. Unfortunately. Okay. Right. Uh, combat will require some getting used to, that's for sure. So, yeah. That's a, you know, fair warning, I will get very salty about the game. <laughs> Especially combat. You three, one of my crony units. It looks like it took a lot of damage in the crash. That's unsalvageable. I'm wondering where crony U4 is. If it's hmm. still active, then I might find it here in the den. Finding that drone would be helpful. Okay. Hmm, nice. Uh, how do you find the uh, Mass Effect then? Um, so I didn't really get around to uh, playing Andromeda. I played Mass Effect 1, 2, and after 3, you know, came out and all the people complained about uh, storyline and ending, I was like, meh. Um, and then, obviously, you know, the whole, my face is tired debacle. <laughs> mm. But yeah, uh, same here, pretty much. I decided to play a little bit of uh, Elix, take a uh, break from, uh, well, I wouldn't say a break, uh, like a total break, because I still plan on returning to Valheim, but I am going to uh, kind of focus on playing Valheim on Mondays mm. and then I can spend you know other days playing uh, well, different games because you know uh, I don't focus on just like one thing and playing it to death really because that would kill me mentally mm. but yeah um, how do you find uh, Mass Effect Andromeda then? Ah, there it is. Okay, there's a burb here. Okay. Okay. Come here, you overgrown chicken. Stamina to recharge, which is probably gonna take time. Ooh. <coughs> Can you actually? Okay. I don't know why you did two hits, but hey. Ooh. Oh. Ah, the junk is real. There we go. We got killed by the first creature. Because <laughs> the guy was like, oh. There we go. <clears throat> I should probably install a death counter. The death counter on the on screen. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe it's a uh, lag is due to processor or memory, not necessarily the card. Okay, let's see if we can deal with that biter again. Hi. <laughs> now you hit once. No idea the way that works. No stamina whatsoever, so we can just prance around this guy. We'll play a chicken. Okay. 
Okay. Kill the chicken. Uh, I suppose we can drink potion. Okay. Got some raw meat on you. Uh, I know that there are few kind of pieces of treasure over here, I suppose. Natural elix. Yeah, I don't think we're going to consume that because we can consume it. To kind of. Okay. No, okay. Yeah. Okay, this is a very, very small patch of rain. So is that... Okay. No rain? Rain. No rain? Rain. Weather can be weird sometimes. Hmm. Okay, uh, yes, uh, I do believe we've got uh, an amulet that we can wear. Uh, yeah, the iron bar is kind of meh. Let's have a look. Uh, adventures amulet. Uh, plus one lock picking, plus five armor, yep. Okay, we can definitely equip that. Extra armor is always nice, plus one lock, lock pick is also really nice. Yeah. Surprisingly none. <laughs> but that was a very, very weird, very specific rain that rained in a very, very specific spot. Right. <laughs> okay. Uh, I do believe we collected everything from over here. Uh, I've got all I need, so we can move to the underground. <clears throat> At least this part is absolutely... Okay, there is a bow here, nice. Uh, let's see, anything else? Oh, yeah, no. Actually, can you? No, unfortunately, the goal... Good old press alt key to reveal collectible items doesn't work. Okay, random junk. Oh yeah, the gemstone because uh, there is socketing in here. Apparently. Hmm. Oh, all right. Yeah, we got to, We're getting everything, uh, all the experience. You know, we're just going collecting everything locust style. Technology from the old world. That's all that's here. I'd better move on. I've always been a hoarder in this kind of game, so that's not gonna change at all. Okay. Okay. We're not gonna chill here, unfortunately. Not the best place to chill. Electron is scrap. Pick lock, okay. Thing in here, no, we can just climb here. Okay. Ah, yes. <coughs> Great. Level stamina. Whee! There we go. Okay. I'll grab some stuff off you. We're probably gonna cook all that meat later. Right. Random sounds, okay. Slightly ominous. Okay, there's something in here. Shotgun shells, yay! Okay. Map piece, that's cool. <laughs> Maybe there is some sort of treasure that we can find. Um, yeah, th those shotgun shells are gonna tease me because we're probably not gonna find shotguns for quite a while. Or 
Oh, oh man, that sucks. Oof. Yeah, you know, having your gear camped by the boss is problematic. Yeah, the way I actually dealt with uh, modder uh, playing with my friends, I build a massive wall. I just used the hoe to build a massive wall of ground, and I had the protection against his uh, or her, effectively, um, spray attacks. <clears throat> So that, that's actually a strategy that is recommended for dealing with the uh, mother. Yeah. I guess you, you just need to uh, counter camp and wait for the right opportunity. <laughs> and, you know, pounce on your gear. Oof. 400 arrows. Ow. I can only imagine how long it... Territory. <laughs> what was Kallus doing here so far from Zaycor? If I want answers, I need to find him. And, for that, I'll need weapons and equipment. Forge. Is there... No, I guess... No, we can't pick up the cigarette, because I know that... Cigarettes can be used as, well... Not necessarily currency, because currency is, um... Currency is an exit, but... Uh, we can uh, sell it for free penny. Evacuation sequence initiated. Remain calm and proceed to the indicated exits immediately. Follow yeah, all instructions from service personnel. Thank you for your visit to the observing room. Kilometers of enemy territory. Find out why my brother tried to kill me. What could go wrong? Yeah. So yeah, actually, the strategy uh, to deal with mother is <laughs> looks like is the exact opposite. Instead of digging a hole, uh, is to you know get a wall because I can actually run around the wall depending on the position of the dragon. Okay, so we got the jetpack, which is a pretty, pretty useful tool for the vessel. Metal scrap. Cool. Worker pants and small healing potions. Yeah, we're taking all of that. Hi, rat. <coughs> I shall take your bones. Give me bones. Okay, getting potion in the random sink. Oh, now we found ourselves a commodity. A commodity and a half. Toilet paper, you know? It's a post apocalyptic world. Toilet paper is worth a fortune. There you go. Mo Ooh. Ten cigarettes and toilet paper. Why? We're rich, we can officially retire. <laughs> oh my god, more toilet paper. What am I going to do with it? Will we sell, sell all of it and buy a whole island? Uh, basically, this game... Uh, we play as Jax, who is... Uh, mm, you know, one of the characters on this uh, planet called Magalan, and Magalan was hit by a comet a while ago. So effectively, it became a post-apocalyptic wasteland. But the comet uh, brought Elix with it, which is like a special material that gives you uh, extra superpowers. And there are four factions kind of vying uh, for uh, control. Mm, of the planet. You know, we've got the Berserkers, uh, who um, basically don't use technology, and they want to restore the 
natural environment and they use Alexit for effectively magic. Uh, we've got the Outlaws who are your typical post-apocalyptic scavengers and you've got clerics um, who are like technocratic kind of uh, god of technology worshipping clan of you know powered armor laser firing dudes. Um, and there are Albs, uh, guys who um, decided to uh, consume this mineral and uh, it actually uh, that those were the ones that didn't go crazy they um, became like super powerful it gave them like super focus basically it's like a super drug and uh, uh, you are one of those uh, albs you basically are a commander and uh, you you are sent out on your mission you get shot down by your own people uh, you are nearly murdered by your own people your um, I mean, your gear, ammunition and all that got, gets scavenged. Uh, so you wake up literally in your pants and now you need to find a way to survive and find out what's going on. So it's an open world uh, role playing game. You will get to choose one of the camps, one of the three camps. Uh, so it will be either Berserkers, um, the Outlaws or the, the Clerics. And then we'll kind of uh, slowly unravel the mystery of our failed mission. Uh, Elix in a nutshell. And also get pissed off by uh, a lot of junk in this game, because this game is junky. Like... Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> yeah, it's a fun place to be, and yes, <laughs> the toilet paper hoarding, we all know that. <laughs> it's been everywhere. <coughs> and cigarette. Well, we will we, not only be hoarding uh, Toilet Pepe will be ho holding cigarettes as well, so... And then we'll sell them for... <coughs> ridiculous sum of money. Okay, hey, Jam, the land of the Berserkers. If they recognize me, they could finish Kallax's job for him. Yeah. Hmm. Right, uh, let's see if we can actually, uh, let's equip Cultivator Boy, uh, maybe just a little three. And I do believe we have some pants that we can put on. Okay, go, okay, extra armor as well. We do have different pants, we can't really see the difference, but yeah. And now we get to uh, meet one of our new friends. <clears throat> and that's how you make friends in Elix. You punch them in the face. I'm sure, pretty sure Come that on. wasn't Splinter. That was Splinter. He would mop the floor with me. If you're gonna make a habit of attacking people without warning, you should get better at it. I heard you before you even left the ruins. Someone tried to kill me. They stole my armor and my equipment. Then I find you here waiting to finish the job. First you attack me, then you accuse me of being a thief and a murderer? If I wanted you dead, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Trust me. You need to apologize. Hmm. Hmm. I don't apologize for nothing, asshole. Or prove you're not a thief, and I might trust you. Eh, prove you're not the thief. But I'm and I going might to trust get killed you. off too quickly. Only facts matter, not words. Huh. Trusting people quickly out here is as good a way to get killed as walking around without a decent weapon. Which means you just got very, very lucky. I can help you find a safe place and new equipment. If you stop trying to attack me, why would you help me? 
That's my job. I look for people out here and help them reach Goliath. You'll be safe there. Safe? You could be some kind of slaver. What is it you really want? I want this war to be over. Until then, Goliath needs more people to survive. And people need a safe place to go. Well, a safer place than being out here on your own. But you're welcome to stay and risk being picked up by an ALB raiding party. Between them and the rot wars, you won't live long. Say, you didn't see anyone else up there in the ruins, did you? You're the first person I found this trip, and it would save me a trip up there to check. Hmm. Let's see. You can save yourself the effort. Uh, there's no one up there. You can save yourself the effort. There's no one up there. Well, and you got really lucky. An Alb Raider crashed a few days ago, and their scouts came through looking for it. That's Trust me. me, you don't want to run into a party of Albs. But, hey, enough talk. You need to decide what you're gonna do. I'm going back to Goliath. You can come with me if you like. Safety, security, and you can find work to earn enough to buy equipment. If you want a chance to survive, it's the best offer you'll get. That's why I joined the Berserkers. Out here, drifting, and hoping to stay alive. I knew it was only a matter of time before my luck ran out. I know joining a faction doesn't appeal to everyone, but it gave me purpose. And what have you got to lose right now? Nothing from what I can see. Hmm. I'll come with you, but that doesn't mean I trust you. I will come with you, but that doesn't mean I trust you. Trust is earned. That goes both ways. You'd better remember that. Every choice you make adds up in this world. The way you speak to people will determine your course in life. Just take a look at yourself. No armor, no weapons, no companions. You've not exactly succeeded in life, have you? <laughs> well, all that changes today. Whatever you've done before, your life can start again. A new beginning. When the next Alb raiding party comes down from the north looking for Elix, the people of Goliath will defend you. You won't see the inside of a converter with us to protect you. Instead, you'll get a chance to prove yourself. To join us. Why do you want to help me? Like I said, Goliath needs people. Warriors, cultivators, hunters, storekeepers. Whatever your skills, we can find a place for you. Yeah, um... Best to, you know, avoid mentioning the fact that I am one of the Alps. <laughs> because everyone hates Alps. Um, you just take people in? And you just take people in? If you stay, you'll have to earn your place. But, be you cleric, outlaw, or alb, that's true everywhere. Sure, you'll get given orders and you'll have to follow the law, but it's not like you have things easy out here. Look, we can keep talking, but at some point, you gotta decide. So, what's it gonna be? Are you gonna stay here, or come with me? Mm, yeah. Your actions and words seem to match. I will trust you. For now. That's huh. true, Jay. Yes, well, I'll take that as a compliment. You won't regret it. Combat, magic. If those interest <clears throat> you, then the Berserkers offer training to people who join their ranks. We'll make a warrior of you. We should get going. This is Rotboard territory. You won't last long if a pack of them turn up here. Follow me to Goliath. And you can earn the Alexa to buy armor and supplies. Trust me, you'll need them. But yeah, uh, Juraz is pretty awesome. Really like that character. Um, I will come with you to Goliath. Oh, maybe it I want to find the thief who took my armor. I want to find the thief who took my armor. Well, for anything stolen near here recently, I would start no. with Ray. He's an outlaw I found out here a few days ago. Very jumpy. Definitely looking for something. Where do I find him? Huh, I don't know. He disappeared off to the northeast. I'm guessing he went back to Tavar. But, hey, I wouldn't rush after him. He's probably sold your armor by now. Okay. So, let's go to Goliath. I will come with you to Goliath. Lead the way. And follow me. And if we lose each other for any reason, You'll find Goliath to the east, at the foot of the mountain. Just look for the light from our mana shrine. You can see that from a good distance away. Oh, and the name's Durus. Pleased to meet you. Just lead the way. Very well. 
and keep up. Keep your eyes open. We're entering the hunting grounds of some of the local wildlife. Okay, action delay, sprinting, uh, attacking or evading for stamina. If you're out of stamina, you can't perform these actions, yeah. Uh, we need to work on our stamina and because our stamina is really, Robert really bad. Uh, yeah, they look pretty good. You're right. Uh, for a what was it, five-year-old game? Now it now it's five-year-old. Mm. Let's assign this to this quick slot. There we go. We should get moving. So yeah, it's something that you could consider a double A game, not a triple A. Okay. Watch your step. I've never come through this area once without getting attacked. If it's so dangerous, why do you come out here? If it's so dangerous, why do you come out here? Magalan almost died when the comet hit. A living, breathing planet turned to ash and dust. But the Berserkers are using their magic to bring our world back to life. Just look around you. Edan is the greenest place on Magalan. They need more people. And they offer anyone who comes the same chance to start over. We should move on. One downside of all this plant life is that you can't see the rot boards coming. Hey, let's keep going. Let's keep going. All right, and follow me. Okay, for now we're gonna stick to Juras because... Uh, yeah, I do not want to get eaten. Uh, it's like... You know, at the beginning, everything can kill you with ease. What are the ruins over there? Remnants of the old world. E. Reminder that the past can be left behind. Can we find anything useful there? Maybe. Maybe. A group of clerics came through this area a few days ago. A scouting party reconnoitering Goliath. Well, that was their plan. Instead, they ran into a group of rot boars. Got chased into those ruins and haven't come out. Mm. Mm, eaten by rot boars, that is no death for a warrior. Eaten by rot boars? That is no death for a warrior. Concern for an enemy? Well, you're right. No one deserves that death. I wish more people would look for common ground instead of shouting our differences. Why haven't you joined a faction? Mm. Uh, for now, I'm gonna say that I have no interest in factions. I have no interest in factions. I cannot decide whether to join a faction out here. Let's go on. Well, we have a choice to make. You're short of equipment. We could see if the clerics have left any in the ruins. You want us to go into the ruins? That's up to you. But there's a risk to that. So maybe we should just head straight for Goliath. I better warn you that the creatures in there won't take prisoners. And pass up on an opportunity for scavenging for and loot. So what do you think? Shall we risk entering the ruins? Was we entering the ruins? <laughs> Let's go into the ruins. A brave choice. Opportunities are there to be seized. Awesome. Okay. Those clerics should be around here somewhere. Uh, we're gonna deal with uh, level in Are a bit. Are you ready to go on? Uh, some creatures kind of moving about, so might as well deal with them. Combat is much easier with a friend. <laughs> that would be... <laughs> that would kind of suck, you know? Here, have a gold coin. Don't spend it all at once. 
But fortunately, uh, I played this bit for quite, you know, quite a few times. So I know that there is a little bit more than just a gold coin. <laughs> Are you ready yeah. to go on? Hey, that bugger is going to be annoying. Oh, hello. I'm going to take that. I'm going to do go. some potions later. I could potentially do some shooty shooty. Ah, it's trying to eat me. Okay. Yeah, shooting Kiev here is a little bit weird. No way. Metal scrap. Okay. We should get moving. Okay, let's activate this teleporter. Okay. Are you ready to go on? Just looks bear like with, bear this with. as a camp before now. Maybe I could use it. Yeah. This place well, will come it in was handy. effectively a boar. But there are some kind of weird looking doggos here, so. Okay, there's something in there. Okay, exit. So, some money. Effectively, two gold coins. Anything else in here besides me walking into, in, you know, oh, poison, there we go. Walking on blood-soaked ground. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> Let's go. Here's a cleric. Okay, hey, we've got 70 coins. A cleric weapon that we can't use, unfortunately. There's something hiding over here. Okay, th that's just a flower. We should get moving. I'll, have <laughs> okay. I'll just take care of this rat, okay? <laughs> Okay, ah, uh, there's another rusty axe that I can actually grab and sell later. Large healing potion. Okay. More healing potion as well. Okay. Hey! More coins. So now we've got 100 coins. Woo. 107 to be exact. So. Okay, we can sleep here. Okay, let's check the backpack. More toilet paper. Woo! I'm going to collect all the paper in this world. I'm actually tempted to like, uh, not sell the toilet paper, just hoard it. Because of reasons, you know, role-playing reasons, you know, our character can be a toilet paper hoarder. So I'm curious how many rolls can we collect, you know, throughout the whole game. Are you ready to go on? Chill. Okay, we should report that we'll read later. We should get moving. Uh, let me just loot this chest. Energy drink, small mental energy reserve. Something for clerics. Sorry. Are you ready to go on? Boing, 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 boing. <laughs> okay, that was actually mightily amusing. These ruins look like they were some sort of machine shop in the old world. You know about the old world? Only what I've learned on my travels. Ruins and wreckage. The old world is irrelevant. Irrelevant? It's where we all came from. The Berserkers want to grow the world back to what it was. The other factions picked through its bones, hoping to find the technology it left us. Hey, anything useful over here? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Bundle of old world money. Oh, well. Oh. 
cleric prayer book there should be one more cleric around here a uh, small energy energy reserve okay so yeah you can do a little bit of crafting here as well okay which that off I'm gonna be doing my heading okay, anything interesting in here no just a hole Okay, there should be one more cleric somewhere. Yeah, there it is. At least his weapon. Yeah, there is a critter over there, but we can kind of walk around here a bit, see if we can find anything useful. Uh, should be. Oh, meadow herb. Okay. Wolf leaf. Good old herbalism. I honestly do not mind. Okay, anything in here besides sleeping bags? No. But it's a good spot to kind of take a nap. Good. Right. The weekend. Er yeah, sorry. Uh, jetpack really helps in that kind of situation. Okay, I don't think I can actually save myself from this. Okay. This is my life now. I'm gonna spend the rest of it over here. <laughs> but yeah. Whoops, that's not exactly what I wanted to achieve, but yeah, let's wait up a bit. Um, but yeah, character movement is a, can be a little bit janky as well, but you know. Watch the first step, plonk! As I face plant into, you know, a pipe three stories below. Exploration is key. Okay. Uh, looks like we can't open this chest. No, I'm not good enough for that. Even with our uh, plus one to lock picking. There was something hanging there. Or houses part two received. Okay. Helix. A hey, cigarettes. Boop boop boop. Bag of cigarettes. New. No. No, 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 no. We do not want to sleep. Sleep is for the weak. A fine cup. I shall add this fine cup to my fine collection. Of fine random junk. Okay, let's see if we can... We should be able to get that. Smack. Mm. Okay. Looks like there are some arrows in here. Don't mind grabbing the ammunition. Mana. Okay. Uh, that's useful for the berserkers, obviously. More healing potions, definitely don't mind. We've got 10. They're gonna be used up very quickly. Okay, more shotgun shells that I'm probably never gonna use. Oh, I can use this ladder, nice. There's the doggo on the left. Like, burp, burp, burp. <clears throat> I 
So let's see if we can actually get that dog going. Hmm. If only things were so simple, like in Fallout, you know, just <laughs> jet your face. <laughs> uh. Ooh. Oh yeah, we can fry some meat for health. There we go. That isn't enough. Nice. Okay, let's do a quick save because you should. Uh, okay, we're not gonna fight with that because that's gonna. No, that thing is gonna sneeze and kill us. Okay, that doggo is kind of messing around over there, so let's just yeah, not go there. Oh, there's more fried meat there. Yep, rat burgers. We all love it. Them. I do believe we've got everything. We do have a little bit of money, some random crap to sell, uh, and a couple of potions. Nothing too crazy, but you know, it's okay. Okay. I found these. Here, I found these. Elix technology. It's forbidden to berserkers. Officially, you're supposed to hand it in when you arrive in Goliath, but that'll be your choice. Just don't go flashing those weapons around when we get back, okay? Some berserkers are really strict about the laws. Others are more lenient. You see, we leave the albs and clerics to rely on machines. In Edan, we use magic. In the end, everyone relies on Elix. <laughs> uh, do you often find clerics in Edan? Do you often find clerics in Edan? I probably don't need to. All the factions come here. For intel, for resources, we all take from each other. At least it's just rage from the clerics for now. There have been wars in the past, and it does seem like there are some clerics who want to repeat those mistakes and take us back into open warfare. Okay, let's go. To, let's go on to Goliath. Let's go on to Goliath. Right. Follow me. You say there were elves in this area. How long ago was that? The raider crashed a week ago. It's been quiet since then. Well, apart from the scouting party on the edge of the forest, it feels like something serious is brewing up there in Zaycor. And that's bad news for us all. And here is a doggo. There we go. I shall take your meat. I have go. doggo burgers later. We should get moving. It's a chicken! Try for the revenge. Thank you, Jiras, for exacting my revenge. Are you ready to go on? I just spend my points because I've got a level. Let's just do a quick save. Nice. Let's go. Actually, is he going to stop here? There you okay, I'm gonna save. And let's see if we can actually do some scavenging over here. Hey, hey, Sander. Yep, exactly. You're right. I can make all the burgers. Who are those guys? Those look like bandits. Come on, you bastard! With a chainsaw! Now we run! <laughs> Judas! <laughs> We should get moving. 
Dude, wrong way! You're running the wrong way! <laughs> there we go. I'm gonna run. Pretend that I'm not here. Actually, I am going to sit here. Got shot in the face. I'll kill this animal. <laughs> okay, so looks like uh, Juras wasn't enough to actually uh, deal with them. Well, I tried. So we're not gonna do that thing. <gasps> Toilet paper. Two rolls. Ooh, I need to sit down. Ooh, that was too much. Ooh. We can go. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, that human burger kind of minced me into pieces. Uh, occasionally, I haven't really checked the frequency of auto saves. I just quick save whenever I can, really. Okay, it's getting a bit hot. Let's wait for it to light up. Uh, <gasps> oh no, 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 that was a tape. Oof, I honestly thought that. Yeah, I think what I'm gonna do for the next stream, I'm gonna do the death counter and I'm gonna do a toilet roll counter. So I think for now, I'm gonna. Paper. Michael. Looks important. Ah. Okay, I've got a notebook. Right. Sorry. I'm gonna write down two deaths. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna do a manual fencing now, and then um, I'll fix up something for the for the next screen. Really, every two minutes that can potentially be annoying because, uh, depending on the amount of junk in the game, it can save in a really really bad spot. Ruby's recording. Thing, but these mutants are everywhere. There! There! You hear that? They're coming from above. Hey, you idiots! Move your asses and get them! Oh. Oh. Are there two of them? Yeah, there are two. One. There we go. We dealt with it. One. It's dark as hell here. Okay, let's see if we can do a combo. Oh, we're about to die. Woo. Now it's time for a healing potion. Okay. Small healing potion. I'll take it. Okay, we, so we did get a little bit of XP. Uh, liquor. Lilix drink. I think that was XP. So that's also pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Very smart. Uh, okay, that's climbing. That looks like ruby. Fill a scrub water bottle, 46 gold coins. Okay. Not too bad, not too bad. Okay, so it looks like that was the sort of scavenging party. Little scrap. Okay, I'll, I'll let me just kind of 
grab it. There we go. Oh, yeah, give me all your money. A hatchet, you say? And a fine cup. Shall add the, another fine cup to my fine collection of fine junk. Yeah, probably. I honestly don't know if there is any sort of uh, flashlight or a torch or anything along these lines. Oh, there is another dude in here. Nearly missed you. Toilet paper! Yes. And a hand grenade. Okay. We can't miss any. Actually, how many rolls have we got? This, I believe, is a random junk. We have nine rolls of toilet paper. Little scrap. I do believe. I'm not sure if that's crafting equipment or actually go in there. Did actually work. Uh, not by the looks of it. I don't think there is anything worthwhile in here, unfortunately. Oh well. Worth a try, I guess. <clears throat> Yeah, the jump pack is pretty, pretty awesome addition to uh, to the game. It oh, oh oh yes, take that. We'll leave no stone unturned. There we go. Yeah, although it it would burn, you know, really really quickly, unfortunately. Oh, metal scrap and a tape. <clears throat> Need all that. I'll even take a broom. I can even fly on it if you want me to. <laughs> that was going to be. Okay, there. Okay. Uh, okay, let me just check if Juras is still there. Yes, he's still there, so let's just do a quick save. Just in case. See if we can actually. Ooh, a whole quiver, you say? Well, well. Ooh, there is more shiny stuff in here. Hey. Okay. Oh, um, speaking of light uh, sources, I've got bajillion torches or flares. Let me just quick slot them. Uh, we're not using mana or food. We can actually quick slot uh, right meat to the top four. These are plants that we're going to use later. There we go. 14 magnesium torches. I didn't want to light that one up. There we go. Let there be light, I guess. Yeah. Not super amazing, but yeah, it works. Natural elix. Now, because I misclick, I'm gonna walk around like a complete numpty, you know? <laughs> In the middle of the day, just carrying this torch. Why? Because of reasons. Okay, I do believe we have checked this whole place. Okay, uh, actually, that reminds me, we've got points to spend. Permanently loses life energy, range damage, and unlocks new abilities. Dexterity loses range damage. Intelligence, it's soy. Cunning. Social skills unlock certain abilities for outlaws. Strength, physical power, because the melee damage unlocks item ability. Yeah, I don't know if it actually works that way. It would be pretty cool. Uh, 
okay. These are abilities. Parry strength, grenades, jets, pack attack, that's pretty cool. Mutant killer, machine killer. So those are all the um, abilities that we can learn. So we've got our learning points here, but it's not that easy. We don't just spend points and that's it. We actually need to find a um, trainer and we need to pay money that trainer to actually improve our skill and obviously um, the, our access to different tra trainers will increase depending on the loyalty with a given faction so I kind of have to join a faction uh, I'm just wondering uh, which oh yeah that's that's gonna be very very useful intelligence and dexterity learn a survival trainer uh, good eater as you can see we need to kind of uh, find a way to uh, find a way to kind of improve our skills so we can learn uh, our stats so we can learn different skills and then we need to improve your loyalty to actually get access to this skill uh, more stamina is useful so that's constitution and uh, it requires a lot unfortunately uh, lock picking, locksmith, pickpocket, you only steal twice. Gives the ability to steal an additional item when pickpocketing. Modify weapons, that's pretty cool as well. Goldsmith, gemstone socket, chemistry. Uh, you can make chems and potions. So intelligence, dexterity. Uh, so I'm thinking of going like a hunter because now we've got intelligence and dexterity. But that improves our, you know, this will give us an access to uh, chemistry and that gives us an access to um, to animal trophies, which is also a good source of income here. So we've got two kind of um, abilities that uh, kind of go hand in hand and it looks like we might be going uh, kind of ranged, ranged character. Hold your horses. <laughs> Mining. Strength Constitution. Extra attributes, points, experienced hunter. That's also pretty useful. Intelligence cunning. Uh, receive more experience for enemies killed. That's really good. Bookworm. Uh, reading gives additional experience. That's intelligence cunning. Practitioner. Uh, receive more experience for completing missions. Hagler is also really good. It's like, yeah. Combat skills, survival skills, there's a survival value, personality skills, group. Increases the fighting strength of companions with each level, so yeah. Uh, strength of our companions depends on um, our skills as well. That's pretty interesting. Reduces the cost of fines paid for committing crimes. Friend of Beasts uh, stops weak animals from attacking. That's uh, actually pretty good because not, there's nothing worse than, you know, you're fighting with a big enemy only to get munched by random creature. Uh, it gives additional tribute point with each level up. That's pretty cool as well. That's intelligent. It's emotional balance. Uh, synthetic. Okay. Then there are more skills. There is our Berserker skills. Uh, so we've got Magic, Mana, Enchant Weapons, Scatter Shot, Seeker Shot, Camouflage Spell, Leather Skin Spell. So yeah, then we get all the different spells. Then this is Outlaw. Unscrew, uh, Salvage Weapons, Create Ammunition, uh, Body Chemistry. Uh, so yeah, this, these are all sort of scavengers. And the clerics with the psionic abilities and uh, high-tech weapons. Uh, which is also interesting. So, uh, which faction sounds the most interesting? Uh, the berserkers, uh, which are your kind of more fantasy-oriented. So we've got melee weapons, bows, um, and magic. Uh, then we've got outlaws, which are post-apocalyptic scavengers. So we get like... Normal weapons like machine guns and shotguns and whatnot, and then we can do drugs, huh? 
Um, and we've got clerics with the psionic abilities, high-tech weapons, and high-tech armor. Yeah, I don't want to uh, die to a rat after fighting over mob. Yeah. That's true. Uh, for now, I think I'm going for dexterity increases range damage attacks and unlocks new abilities. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, it looks like we've got mm, we've got ten points. So quickly check those skills. Uh, oops, over here. I think over here. Uh, so yeah, we've got survival, animal trophy. So we're interested in intelligence and dexterity. So it's five points to each. Uh, and then chemistry is dexterity 15, intelligence 25. So let's go. Depending on your faction, increasing intelligence permanently increases mana or psi power and unlocks new abilities. Yeah, let's go 15 15. Looks like it's saved, it just auto saved after, you know, speaking point. <laughs> hey, asshole, I'm coming. <laughs> Okay, uh... Okay. Jura's just buggered off. <laughs> Typical. Typical. There he is. You should be able to make your way on alone from here. Hmm. You can find supplies and get yourself back on your feet in Goliath. And then, the choice will be yours. So I can just leave whenever I want. You should try to get a better weapon and some armor before heading into the wastelands, but that's up to you. Have a look around our community. See what we can offer you. What happens if you find an alb here? They try and kill us, so we kill them. Except the Separatists, a group of albs that has broken away from Zaycor. Maybe they could be allies. Mm, you think they're Separatists? Yep. Yeah, you think the Separatists will help you fight the Alps? Clerics, eh? Maybe these Separatists want to join the Free People. Maybe they're just another threat. But I'm sure that together, we can defeat the Alps. But for now, the Separatists are outnumbered, without friends and defiant. They're already finding life is hard out here if you haven't joined one of the factions. That makes them jumpy, so I'd be careful around them. They're suspicious of everyone. Well, we have reached Goliath, but this is only the start of your journey. Look for me once you've settled in. You'll find me up at Warlord Ragnar's stronghold at the top of Goliath. Okay. Mm. Oh yeah, we've got that crony unit as well. Okay, for now, let's activate this teleport. Ooh, a small healing potion. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Now, we can actually check our map here. It's pretty big, as you can see. And I do believe that clerics are around here somewhere. Hmm, yeah. Oh, 
Oh, I do believe we can actually teleport uh, over here, so... Or not. Go yet. It's a domed city. I don't think we can teleport. The port. Port. Hmm, yeah. Well, it's it's an RPG, so it is to be expected, eh? Uh, right. So I'm going to do, what I'm going to do. I'm going to walk around here, get some uh, basic supplies, maybe m uh, get a quest or two. Uh, just to. All right, you can stop there. In the name of the hooded crows, and with a power invested in me by the warlords of Goliath. I hereby challenge you to state who you are and what you want. You should know that Goliath is eternally vigilant in its search for Alps. Hmm. Dura sent me here. Dura sent me here. Oh, you're one of Duras's hand me ons, are ya? You better think about reporting to Ragnar or one of the other warlords when you get in then. They'll check you're not an Alb spy. All right, all right. You can go in. But all weapons must remain sheathed. Start anything, and a paladin will turn you to ash faster than you can say, I wish that Duras guy hadn't sent me here. Oh, and don't steal anything, or flash technology around. I don't okay, expect okay. any more or less from you. Understood. Good. Then I welcome you in the name of the Berserkers. Uh, who are the Hooded Crows? We might actually get to know... A little bit about this place. As I said, we might actually do a couple of uh, quests here so I can actually get a little bit of experience. You know, we'll see what gear is available. But uh, it's not going to be anything amazing. Who are the Hooded Crows? We are the warrior clan of the Berserkers. Our warlord Ragnar, proven in battle, worthy defender of Goliath, leads us as we stand to defend our cause from all who would oppose it, from within or without. We stand as guardians for fairness and justice, equality and order. All who wish to join the Berserkers must answer to Ragnar. Who is Ragnar? How can you not have heard of him? Ragnar the Fierce? Ragnar, son of Bajar? He is the highest warlord here in Goliath. Literally, he lives up there in the ruins from the old world. Sounds like you're expecting trouble. It sounds like you're expecting trouble. Outlaws, clerics, and now the Alps starting wars, and that's before we talk about mutants. Where have you been if you don't think there's trouble in the world? But don't worry. Yeah, You'll no breathing too much. No as well. Alps getting past me. Is there somewhere I can stay in Goliath? Maybe down by the tavern or with the cultivators. Try the lower quarter. There's room there for honest men. Pay your way or work for your stay, and you'll be welcome. We are the protectors of Magalan, and we welcome all free people here. What can I do to earn my stay? So, what can I do to earn my stay? Can you handle a weapon? Yes. Then you'll find work. Hmm. We're short of people mm -hmm. since the attacks began. This place doesn't sound too safe. Where is? With the Albs looking to tear down this whole world. Well, You're short of people? Everyone's lost people to the Alps. Workers, cultivators, warriors. They're all looking for more hands. You'll need to earn your place. But there are tasks for all hands. And the shards to pay for them. You use shards as money? What else are you going to use? Everyone uses Alexa as money. And don't start on with trying to barter your way with raptor shit. You'll need Alexa. Or decent old world scrap if you want to make a deal. Okay. Right, so we know a little bit about this place. So now we can kind of walk around and see if we can. It's a. Let's see. Uh. I'm 
walk around and see if we can find some uh, trainers. So, a little bit of exploration here and there. It seems to be awfully empty for some reason. Oh, it is forbidden to take it, okay. Um, LG. Hey, are you my backup? What backup? What backup? Oh, for the love of it. <laughs> There's no one gonna send me some relief. I need a piss, a sit down, and a different fucking view. <laughs> <laughs> well, good talk. Great. <laughs> I suppose we can grab this mushroom. It's free, so we can grab it. Yeah. I shouldn't actually use jetpack in the middle of this town. <laughs> People get a little bit iffy with me. Fucking monster! Uh, why would you target this guy? Ooh, I'm about to die. Yeah, no killing tech. The junk, the junk, and the junk. Let's go a slightly different path this time. Leave your hands where I can see them. All right, all right, easy, easy. No need to. No. What are you looking for here? A great view. That's worker. Yeah, there are certain key points when, you know, the game saves, I think. It's a worker as well. That's where we got attacked. I think. Okay, let's see if we can actually do this again. I probably gonna munch on uh Okay. Yeah, yeah, that would be very bad if you didn't keep your gear. Not in this game. It's like that would mean Fucking monster <laughs> Please stop targeting an NPC. Yeah, we're dead. Yeah, no, I, there's actually no point in, you know, being here. Uh, so that's four deaths. Uh, let's actually not go there. Because currently we actually suck at pretty much anything. Yeah, yeah. Although upgrading gear is not as easy as you may think because new tiers are unlocked when you... That houses that are random. 
Yeah, that's, I think, is a random warehouse. Oh no, hello. I see that. Another incomer. Are you here to trade, fight, or just add another mouth to the masses? Because unless we get help, I don't know how we're gonna keep feeding the people we've already got here. They are supposed to be able to conjure stuff up with their magic, but can they do that with supplies? Can they magic up the food we need? No, they can't. Doesn't sound like you're getting the help you deserve. It doesn't sound like you're getting the help you deserve. Don't pretend like you feel sorry for me. People like you are only interested in the power that comes from magic, not the problems of common folk. But then, what does magic do for me when I'm hungry? In any case, I won't let myself be deceived. Even if our magic can protect us from what is out there, it is no replacement for a full stomach. What do you have to trade? You can take a look at our stock. The selection is more limited than I'd like, but it's what we have. Of course, if we weren't besieged by outlaws, albs, and we're still pen-pushing bureaucrats, yeah. I could offer you more. She, yeah. <laughs> She's full of joy. Um, are things really that bad in Goliath? Are things really that bad in Goliath? That depends who you ask. I'm sure there are some who don't notice how hard it is for everyone at the bottom of the pile. Ooh, wait, no, we don't hear her. Teach me something. Of course. Look. You need to spend your learning points uh, and learn new skills. But only if your attributes are high enough. Yeah, we know that. Um... We can't actually uh, learn anything from here. Yeah, no. Okay. It sounds like <clears throat> let's see if we can actually get quest out of it. Oh, I wish it was only one. But let's start with the Isen Clan, promising me regular deliveries from the Valley of the Damned, and then failing to get them for me. It's time Master Thorold returned from his retreat to put this right. But like everyone else, it seems like he has plans greater than, say, making sure everyone gets fed. If we don't get that food, we'll be living on hope and fresh air. Then, hmm. why should you care if our warlords don't? Hmm. Okay. Let's Can I help? You? Well, not one to turn down that sort of offer. My only motive is to keep people fed. If I'm going to achieve that, I need someone to talk to Angrim. I need someone to persuade him how serious the situation is. These warriors seem to think that fighting is the only thing that matters. But let's see them try fighting when they've not eaten for a week. Mm. Can you tell Angrim that's how bad it is? That if we don't start getting boxes of supplies, then the only thing he'll have to eat is boxes. <laughs> It sounds like these supply problems are getting you down. No guards for escorting the supplies here or to distribute them afterwards. Outlaws and clerics stealing some of what we do send. Yes, it's not just you. I had my armor stolen by an outlaw. Outlaws. The one thing you can trust them to do is to steal things. Mm -hmm. And you know where they take the things they've stolen? Well, if they're true outlaws, there is only one place they'll take them. Straight to Tavar, and a share of the profit. Interesting to know. Oh, yeah, I'll speak to Angram. I will speak to Angram for you. Hard to Thank you. Up. My hunters are doing their best. But we can't get by without those food supplies from the valley. Okay, uh, let's see if we can actually trade something. <clears throat> can we trade? Look around. Tell me what you need. Okay, forge wrench, hatchet. I think we do, yeah, we do have a hatchet, but unfortunately I won't be able to use it just yet. Um, 
This might be worth getting, guys. Okay, so she's got a hatchet and forge wrench. Uh, probably a good idea to get the cow. Uh, but yeah, let's see what we can sell. Hmm. We can sell the, one of the rusty axes. Definitely sell the iron bar. Uh, we need all that. Let's see if there is any. Hmm. We will keep all that. Mm, we'll keep that just in case because I think we will we'll be, you know, um, joining the cler clerics, uh, natural elix, resistance to frost. Hmm. Okay. A gold nugget, useful to those with crafting skills, iron ore. Um, I suppose you can sell this. <clears throat> okay, that's junk, so we can actually sell it, that's junk. We can sell all the junk. Fine cup, yep. Basket is a valuable. Uh... Yeah, and toilet paper is a valuable. What did I tell you? Okay, we can sell the cigarettes, but we are hoarding all the paper. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna sell the casket as well. We'll keep shotgun shells. Okay, I've got 700. Not a lot, but I think I can get the. Cow. Uh, we do have a hatchet, so. No! Oh, I hate when the game does that. Fortunately, we can. Revert that. Um. Yeah, I think I'm gonna grab the both cow for now. Okay. Trade. You do know that technology is banned here. <laughs> can can the hoarder de hoard? Uh, not very likely, mate. Not very likely. Hey, okay. boys. I do believe Ooh. So And what is your crime? Um, what? I am Warlord Ragnar Patron of this berserker settlement While Master Thorold is on pilgrimage Anyone who commits a crime Must answer to me Emissaries from the other communities Also have to speak to me first So are you an emissary? Why are you here? Speak. No. <laughs> Probably let's not open with that. I am nobody. I... I am nobody. Oh, well. You have guts enough to simply stroll in here. So either you are crazy, damn brave, or simply foolish. So you had better think very carefully about your next answer. Again, we're gonna find you amusing. Exactly, do you want here? I'm looking for work. I'm looking for work. You can prove yourself by helping the people of Vidan. There is more than enough work to go around. So if you want to be tolerated here, you must follow my rules. These rules are very simple. If you harm the Berserker community, you will pay. If you serve the community, you will receive fair compensation for it. I hope we understand one another. Because if not, you will have to answer to me. Is that clear? You're the boss. You're the boss. Yes, correct. The quicker you understand that, the better for you. Heed my advice 
and you will find the Berserkers to be good hosts. Is there anything else? Mm. Where can I buy armor like you? Where can I buy armor like yours? Ha! You can't simply buy a warlord's armor. You don't even have the rank of a cultivator, let alone that of a warrior. And you want warlord's armor? Why not? Slow down, friend. First prove to me that you would be a good cultivator. So, make yourself useful in the city, and we can talk about better armor for you. Hmm. Let's assume I help you out. Let's assume I help you out. Yes? What kind of special tasks would you have for me? Special tasks? Why would you figure that I need someone who can do more than just the usual? Because I see what's going on here. <laughs> Is it that obvious that we have some problems here in Goliath? Yes, it's apparent. I have to admit I underestimated you. <laughs> At least you're observant. But it also takes guts to confront me. So you really want to help us out? Yes. There are many things to be done. Our people are dedicated, but we still have supply shortages. Food, medicine, machine parts, and other equipment. There are too few cultivators in the fields. Speak to the people here, and they can tell you where your skills are best used. Earn their trust, and you may earn mine. And if you're planning to join us, then I will have a very special task for you. A lot of people come to me, looking to join us, to climb the ranks. You look like you have ambition. If you earn my trust, <laughs> you'll go <clears throat> far <throat> here. Okay. Mm. Alright, let's end this for now. Um, so yeah, that's generally how it looks like. We need to kind of jump through several hoops uh, uh, when we want to join the, the given faction. So there are hmm, usually are several kind of tasks that we need to complete to kind of improve our standing. You should come with me. See something more than Goliath. Hey, did you know there were some weapons brought back here to Goliath? Energy weapons taken from the clerics? I'd be interested Nothing in getting of this a look at them. If you know how, I could get a chance to do that. Be careful. You know you could get... It could get you exiled, Liam. Be careful. You know I could get you exiled for even asking about that. Yes, of course. Sorry, I didn't mean it like that. Listen. What I need is some help. Let's be straight. You recently tracked down a pair of cleric weapons, didn't you? Is that an accusation? This is a small town with lots of big mouths. Mm. There aren't really that many secrets. So, have you given those weapons over to the pit? Or do you still have them? I know some people who would be happy to pay for them. The berserkers don't want them. The clerics do. Let's say that we're not gonna give uh, him weapons for now. Yeah, it is a it is a big task here. Yeah. And usually, uh, you know, with with every tier, you get access to like new armor and weapons. So uh, there is like a lot of uh, gate gatekeeping effectively uh, in the game, but it's. Uh, it's part of every, you know, title from Piranha Bytes. They did it with uh, Gothic, they did it with um, Risen, and now with Elix as well. So, it's it's the usual deal. I can't give you the weapons. You think it's wrong to forbid technology? Some say Elix fell from the sky as a curse. Others say it's a blessing. I, I think like how the sudden change of to topics. Decide. Like, I can give you the weapons. By the way, Will you give me those weapons. Of course, of course. I can offer you Alexit if you give them to me. That would only be fair. And should you wish to learn more about technology, I could point you to where answers can be found.
because I'm wondering whether I should actually sell it now or keep it and join the clerics and then return those weapons to, uh, let's say, I, Water Masters. <laughs> yeah, exactly, don't misplace your keys, but fortunately it's not as bad. <laughs> um, for now, let's just go with that. No, your Alexit isn't worth the risk. And superstition wins over reason. A loss really. for us all. Go, hand them in. A shame. I thought you would be clearer thinking than the others here. No, not really. I'm just going to return them to the source. <clears throat> Tell me more about the clerics. Tell me more about the clerics. You know about the comet that struck our planet? Well, back before the impact, Magellan had technology that could take you into space or to the bottom of the ocean. So? Mm. So mm -hmm. the clerics want to Logic see the golden reason, age yeah. return. We don't want to abandon all the things our people achieved. The clerics think that, with Kalan's guidance, technology can sort out this mess of a planet. That it can mean safety and progress for all the free people. Mm. Okay, I was kind of hoping he could point us towards the, you know, direction of uh, uh, the clerics, but I guess we'll have to find our own way. Is there any way to trade so, here? Is there anywhere to trade here? That depends what you want to buy. Traders need to be authorized, and what they can sell is restricted. You'll need to look elsewhere if you want energy weapons, or anything more advanced than a hand-sharpened stick, and whatever you want to buy. You'll need to find the shards to pay. I could offer you some food as a gift. But... Well, since you disagreed with me about the cleric's weapons, I'd expect you'd refuse an offer of food, too. Okay. Let's end for now. I'll definitely do that. Ooh, that's not Hey, watch it there! Uh, I hate it when people mess with my stuff. You think the armor in this place makes itself? Well, you wouldn't be the only one, but let me tell you, it's not true. Damned hard work makes it. My damned hard work. So don't get in my way. Oh, I could offer you some elixir for that hard work. Yeah, what's good what's so good about the armor you supply? Quality, skill, years of practice technique. And as you go up through the ranks, you're eligible for different equipment. As a cultivator, you'll be confronted with different challenges to a warrior or a paladin. So for cultivator armor, I make sure to give you the freedom of movement needed for working in the fields. But a warrior's armor must be robust, better able to absorb damage during combat. Okay. Can I get some of this armor? I am only authorized to hand out equipment to anyone who has earned it. A cultivator isn't allowed to wear the armor of a paladin. That armor goes with that rank and that honor. So, if you want a set of it, you'll have to work to earn it. Okay, let's trade. I'd like to trade. Pick your armor, choose your weapon, we can trade. Hey. Mm. So we definitely won't be able to use any weapons from this kind of setup. Although the war shield sounds kind of cool. Uh, it's a heavy berserker shield, okay. Hunter helmet, worker helmet, hunter armor. Well, worker armor. Hunter pants and worker pants. Hmm. Okay, so we need to improve our strength and our constitution in order to wear hunter armor. So we need uh, probably four levels. 
But I think we can get uh, Hunter. Could potentially get a hunter. Uh, no, we can get a hunter. Hunts. So 500, 500. All very expensive. Do have worker pants. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna hang around here and uh, I'm gonna try and get some experience. We should not rely on machines. Yeah, strength and constitutions. Uh, yeah. Is that what I was? Uh, no. We just double check that. Archon. Oi, where is that? Right. Okay, there's a weapon trader as well. Stay alert out there. Okay, what goods have, what you, goods got? have you got? Understood. <clears throat> Ah, he doesn't have any armor, interestingly enough. For your sword cultivator bow, that's what we have. Um, wooden shield wouldn't be a bad idea either. But yeah, it's all strength and constitution. Yeah, bumped into a uh, grandpa with a bad mood. Unfortunately, that grandpa with a bad mood is... Uh, Sell stuff that we kind of need. And he kind of vanished. Yeah. Um. Well, I'm actually tempted to uh, focus more on ranged, but I want to have something, you know. Very, very basic to defend ourselves with, sorry. Uh, uh, I guess our first kind of set of upgrades will be sort of all over the place. Because there are several skills I would like to get and then we can actually specialize. Guard. Don't think you can steal anything here. Wouldn't dream of it. If you steal, you die. Don't steal anything here. Okay, the armor of the smith has kind of vanished somewhere. There he is, he kind of teleported over here. Okay. I like to trade. I'd like to trade. Pick your armor, choose your weapon, and we can trade. Okay, so Yeah. So it's 16 strength, 19 constitution. Interestingly enough, what do we need? Oh, we need even more for the hatchet. Well. Hmm. We technically use the cleric weapons as well, interestingly enough. Um. Okay, so the next level shoots are... Uh... We're not very far off. But yeah, next level should get uh, should get us to kind of, uh, yeah. Uh, things that we need for the Hunter armor. So 
So yeah, we could potentially uh, try and, I don't know, complete a quest or two to get some extra money. That is a very good question. <laughs> I think we had to speak with this guy. Another one? I swear if security had been this lax in the days of Eric Eisenfaust, we'd all be clerics. What are you seeking here, stranger? Safety? A new start? Meaning? A all little bit of can be all of those things. Those who accept our laws. Are you? Who are you? My name is Angram. It is my duty, along with the other warlords to ensure the laws are kept and the Berserker way preserved. We offer protection to those from outside who understand that Edan is working to help Magalan. Stick to the laws, <clears throat> respect our ways, and you will find Goliath welcoming. Break the laws, show contempt and punishment will follow. You will have a fair chance here if you understand that. Oh, Cinda sent me, there we go. Cinda sent me. Cinda? Is there another problem with food supplies? She hasn't received the resupply she needs, and nobody seems to know when she will. Didn't Jorah sort this out? Or has his failure to fix things become my problem? Mm -hmm. What does Jorah have to do with this? Jorah was supposed to have sorted this out. Mm -hmm. Once more, it comes back to me to resolve this directly. Then, there won't be any more escorts for the deliveries. The last group I sent were killed by a troll. Oh, yeah, the we big thing more men to lose that way. Uh, unfortunately, we do not have survival. That face. A troll killed your men? Good men. I've fought beside some of them. Being eaten alive was not the fate they deserved. I'll not send more men to their deaths. We have scant enough as it is. Cinda will have to deal with this problem herself. Tell her it is time she called on one of the other clans for help. The Ison clan will no longer risk lives for fish and meat. Well, until you're hungry again, so. Yeah. Okay, let's that see what's the next step. In trouble. Put it away or dispose of it. Um. Okay, so now we need to get back to Cinda. Tell her that things aren't looking really, really well. Yeah, I suppose. Oh, hello. I won't say no to free plants. Might sell them later. But yeah, the more quests that we do uh, inside the town, the better for us, because we do not need to, you know, uh, go outside to risk uh, our lives. Because you've seen all that, creatures can kill us very, very easily. I'll get as much experience as as much money. Oh, that's Bertram. Yeah, don't worry, mate. I'll return those weapons to the, you know, the clerics. Uh, is that the place? Get out of here, will you? Get out of here, will you? Okay, fine. Cultivator. Wait, where is? Hmm. I spoke to Angrim. <clears throat> I spoke to Angrim. Oh, great, thank you. Someone who is prepared to do something. When will the deliveries come? They won't. They the won't. The men Angrim sent to the valley are dead. And is he going to send more? No, wait. Let me guess. We don't have warriors to spare chasing farmers. 
How does he expect me to get supplies if he can't? He's got a host of warriors he can assign. I'm one person behind a counter. Is Engram the only person you can ask? He's in charge of the Isen clan, and the Isen clan are in charge of escorting my supplies. But you're right. Maybe it's time to speak to one of the other clans. If the Isen clan won't help, one of the others will have to. Would you speak to Ragnar, warlord of the Hooded Crows, or Cormag of the Hammer clan? I'll have to hope that one of them can understand why this is so important. Okay, we'll try. So it's gonna be running back and forth, I guess. There's another plan like a yoink. Don't mind if I do. Punch on some meat. See here. Okay, that worker. I'm kind of trying to remember where everyone is. I played this game a long time ago, and I do believe I ended up joining. We can actually take this thing. I don't trust it. <laughs> I'll just leave it here. Um. So yeah, either Ragnar or Kromag. Fine. This looks concerning. I better leave it here. Guard, that's a guard. We do not need to chat with them. Oh. All plants, yes, I shall take all the plants. The free one's gonna, you know, persecute me for taking. Plans, so that's good. Wait. Hello. One key here. Hmm. Apparently, we can sleep in a bed. No one's gonna Nothing get angry. Nothing we can do will end this war. Someone has to do something. Doing the Let's go up and I do believe that's where Ragnar is. We can chat with him or maybe someone else. We'll see, we'll see. Like an ah, there we go. There's another bloke. Welcome, incomer. I hope you are being treated well. Goliath has always opened its doors to those who need shelter. But these are hard times, and war grows suspicions. As for me, I think the free people should work together in this war with the elves. Will I have trouble here? Will I have trouble here? It will mostly be talk. People gossip about incomers. If you want the people here to trust you, then help them. Once they do, they will open their doors to you. You will have a place to stay. A chance to become one of us. And they will likely reward you for your trouble. We berserkers believe in second chances. It's your choice whether you take that chance or not. Mm. Well, let's have a look about that teaching. Sure. I've got melee weapons, ranged weapons, heavy weapons, dark strength, body strength, heavy punch, grenades. Interesting. 
Do not expect Berserker to teach people, you know, how to use grenades. I guess they don't uh, allow like an advanced technology, they use something really, really basic. Um, but yeah, we cannot get anything at all. Unfortunately. Yeah, we need nine more points in strength to unlock uh, one level of melee weapons. Uh, but I'm gonna chat with you again. Mm. Yeah, Cinder needs your help. Cinder needs your help. More trouble with the supplies? What can I do to help? She needs people to collect the food deliveries. I thought Angram had sent men to do that. Angram is refusing to send more men. Angram is refusing to send more men. How does he think we'll eat if no one collects our food? Even his warriors can't fight on an empty stomach. Still, if Angram is worried about sending men, then there must be a real danger. I will send men to help Cinder. But if they're to go out there, then I want to improve their odds of survival. We recently captured some movement detectors from the clerics. They're being stored in the pit, ready for the elix to be taken out of them. Get me one of those movement detectors, and I will give Cinder the help she wants. Isn't taking technology from the pit against the law? Mm. Sometimes, laws must be broken for problems to be fixed. Well, well, well. Get me that detector, and I will help Cinder. Those are my terms. How do I get past the pit guard? How do I get past the pit guard? It's not for me to encourage the use of technology. But you could use those jump jets of yours to go over the wall and drop down into the gully from above. You'll have to scout it out to find the safest route. That would be a safer and more acceptable route than harming the guard. I'm sure someone as resourceful as you can figure something mm -hmm. out that avoids bloodshed. Okay. Well, well, we do have a bit of a stealth mission of sorts. Okay. Um, right, let's see how we can go about this. Uh, I need to try and remember where the said pit is. Is that a plant to collect? It is. Okay. Right, <clears throat> so... Hmm. Well, there are ballistas in here as well, so... They were actually on the, uh, you know, the walls. Uh, there is ballista over there, so... Unfortunately, I can't use it, but still. No, oh, okay. There you go. There's a ballista over here. Sorry. There wasn't... Uh, there we go. Let me see, uh, I don't know if the pit is down here. Trying to remember where the pit is. Now let's just save and go, Whee! plants. More plants. Even more plants. Good. Yeah. <laughs> that would be free. Oh yeah, that's what we meant. To Valheim. Yeah. I thought from Valheim. I was like, are the body says in Valheim? Do -do -do. Yeah, I don't think that's where we're supposed to be. Uh. 
I guess we can run around, see what's what, what and what's where. Okay, this is my life now. <laughs> Not exactly what I wanted to achieve, but hey. This place over here. There is a shroom and a healing plant. You believe that dude is gonna kill us? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Bonk. <laughs> Okay, death number five. So, we're not going down there. So yeah, first I need to locate the pit. Uh, I do believe it's somewhere down, down the bottom of the village. Yeah. That's how quickly you can die in this game. <laughs> it's like there are certain areas that will be avoided for like a while, like really, really a while. Oh, I think I found the pit. Control. I think there might be. Okay. Sulfur nugget. Well, that's interesting. A jackhammer. I do believe that's used for mining. Good. There's a thing in here. Movement detector. There we go. Nice. Yep. Exit over here. There it is. Analyzing. Sister You four. What are you doing here? You were supposed to have remained with me. Why did you leave the crash site? Survival Protocol 7. Commander presumed dead. U4 unit attempted return to repair station. <laughs> Mm, but instead you were found by the berserkers. But instead you were found by the berserkers? You're lucky you haven't been dismantled for your elix. Are you able to come with me? System error. Failure of... Failure of... Failure of System failure. error. Identify system error. Analyzing. Minor damage to primary systems. Defense system and weapons are offline. Primary control system impaired. Can you repair yourself? Analyzing. Negative. No repair possible at this location. Mm. Yeah, that would be Surprise too easy. <laughs> uh, status report. Yep, status that as well. report of our last mission goals. Primary goal. Locate and secure Thorold, highest leader of the Berserkers, known as the Pilgrim. Mission status oh. failed. Secondary goal. Secure data describing transmutation process of pure elex into mana. Mission status failed. Tertiary goal. Scout Edan for weaknesses in the Berserker defenses. 
Mission status failed. Well, that was a success, huh? <laughs> Negative. Oh, that drive. Commanding oh. unit status. Privileges revoked. Execution ordered as a result of mission failure. Yeah, I've got a feeling that execution was carried out before the failure, but hence the failure, but it ails who can. Um Why did you leave the crash site? This unit was offline for 1043 seconds. On recovery, U4 could not locate the commander. My objectives were to complete the mission or return to base. Uh. System error. Then you don't know anything about my execution? Analyzing. Negative. Executions are standard OW operating procedure for mission failure. Failure is not tolerated. It is against the directive. Directive. So they say. But executions end with death. Assumption. Commander must be using rare example of OW humor. <laughs> yes. I'm joking, you four. I mean, who would want to kill the great Commander Jax? Oh, oh. <laughs> and you know, emotionless alb with a sense of humor. Who would have thunk it? What do you need to complete repairs? This location isn't safe. Identifying. Nearest automated repair station is in North Abessa. Then go. But you four, you are not to report on my status. If asked about me, state that I died in the crash. I will meet you at the repair station in Abessa. Okay. I like the fact how that drone drone just like ca is gonna casually fly, you know, next to that berserker and is gonna do nothing. <laughs> it's like oh, no. I'm only guarding here if the technology is flying on its own. It means you know nothing's wrong is going on. So yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Mm, let's grab this. Okay. Now, how can we get out of here? <clears throat> yeah. Exactly. That is, is actually pretty amusing, yeah? Telling a drone not to lie. Okay. Can we climb up there? Honestly, fancy going, you know. They're, they're taking the long route. I think we should be able to. Ooh. Let's see if we can get across that. Whoop. Oof. Okay. Okay. Last stretch and we'll be there. <laughs> Hopefully. No one saw nothing. Okay. Let's go and get that quest sorted. Hopefully that will give us the level up that we need uh, to get all the necessary points. <clears throat> so we'll be able to get a uh, slightly better uh, armor that will, you know, Cause us to die in four hits instead of three. Which, to be perfectly honest, is an improvement we in my opinion. Mm. Isn't it more important that we win this? Oh, in the meantime, let's do some fried meat. <laughs> yep, exactly. Is that guy flying, carrying a lot of? Uh, Technology like equipment? Nah.
He's like, no, oh, you smoke too much of that weird thing. <laughs> This looks pretty cool. There are a lot of different, uh, you know, effectively biomes in here because now we're pretty much in, uh, because of uh, the work that uh, berserkers are doing, kind of uh, uh, returning nature. Uh, this area is really green, but then there are like frozen, you know, areas where albs come from. Then um, the outlaws uh, live in a desert and. Um, The clerics live close to a volcano, so... I have the movement detectors you wanted. I have the movement detector you wanted. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Excellent work. <laughs> Smoking the wrong plant. Now my men stand a chance of seeing danger before they walk into it. Tell Cinder she can count on the support of the Hammer Clan. Whee! I will tell the men to be ready. Nice. Okay. Time to return with the good news. <clears throat> it's gonna take a while because... You can see, I think I went the wrong way. Yeah, I went the wrong way. It's over here. Come with me. I need someone to watch my life. Mm -hmm. I think it's getting a little bit dark. Yeah, let's hope by by finishing this quest we'll get well this experience to level ourselves up, not necessarily the gold. Likes it because that's probably the trickiest part. I think it's this one. Leave your hands where I can see them. Probably not. <laughs> no. Out of the two available buildings, I had to choose the wrong one. Murphy's Law. The Hammer Clan will get your supplies. The Hammer Clan will get your supplies. Hey, first quest completed. You convinced Cormac to help. Ooh. Yes. Oh, you don't know what a relief that is. I was going crazy here. The least I can do is offer you some Alexit as thanks for your help. Uh, give me what you think is fair. Give me what you think is fair. Well, the Isen clan were due two payments. I guess they won't be claiming them now. There oh, was perfect. 250 for the first, the same again for the second, so you get 500 Alexit. I like it. Okay. Can we trade? trade? Look around. Tell me what you need. Yeah. <clears throat> Getting that four drench. Maybe, well, we only get one point of damage. Uh, getting towards that hatchet could probably be a, could probably be a good idea. Because we can't really go crazy uh, without... Oh yeah, Ooh, sorry about that. Uh, so we've got, yeah, pelts, mandibles, glands, and bones. These are the things that we could uh, potentially get out of um, the critters. Did I sell all the bones? Probably not, because I know that I had some bones. Useful as an ingredient. Uh, okay, blacksmith could make good use of this. Yeah, oh, there we go. Uh, that's a trophy. Uh, the earthly remains of a creature, yeah. So we can actually sell this as well. Get extra. 16. Okay. So now let's open our magical computer in the middle of... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in the middle of the berserk. They say the raptors because... are pretty fierce. Because I just rolled that way. You need a break every once in a while if you're going to stay sane. Do you get one? I think you can just leave it like that. 
That is pretty suspicious. If even half of that is true... I don't know. What have you heard? Because I haven't heard anything. Hey. Probably not a good idea to run into wall. Uh, that's not where we're going. <coughs> Ooh. Fall damage hurts. Big time. <clears throat> But yeah, now our survivability, survivability, yes, like in English, uh, survivability should increase slightly. I can't believe the storm sound. Actually, I can munch on some meat. Uh, I think we need to go get the way yeah that's the way no <laughs> hey I'll take money unless the case is some sort of enchantment that's a worker Another worker. Trade. I'd like to trade. Pick your armor, choose your weapon, we can trade. So, I am going to get the hunter armor. And... Ooh, how much was it? Oh, that's 800. Okay. Well, still, that's probably the best uh, kind of increase of armor that we can uh, get at this point. Horned sword. Horned sword one. Okay, that's something that we could slaughter blade. Very likely. So yeah, weapons are yeah. You we can just get weapons. That's not a problem. So they're not really locked towards you know um, factions. So we can use any any sort of weapon. But armor, yeah. Armor is a big of a big deal. A bit of a big deal. Yes, complete the trade. No. Yeah, so let's just put that on. Okay. You don't look too bad. If you ask me. Some minor protection. About, I'm gonna try and chat with this guy. Talk Another on. damned outsider. We ought to lock yeah, lovely you up you until we can you back to where you came from. Are you going to take me to Zeko yourself? <laughs> you have a problem with outsiders? Can you think of one problem on Magala? that isn't down to outsiders. The clerics gave us the Alps. The Alps come here building their filthy converters. They foul our soil, kill our people. The only thing stopping these bastards, killing every last one of the free people, are the hooded crows. Hmm. Sounds like you really hate the Alps. <clears throat> Sounds like you really hate the Alps. They won't stop until everyone is dead. Mm. It's always us berserkers who are taking losses. Ten hooded crows on the last patrol alone. All good men. Yeah. Now, 
I'm asked to make up my ranks with outsiders? Want to kill Alves? You want to kill Alves? I want to exterminate them. And every man, woman, and child on this planet should want to do the same. What about you? Are you ready to go and hunt some Alves? Unfortunately, we have the mission. Tell me the mission. Very well. The Alps have been scouting ruins to the west of here. It could be they're searching for resources, but it could be they're scouting our patrol routes or looking for somewhere to set up a base they can use to launch an attack on Goliath. Whatever they're doing, those Alps have had a free run of things for too long. I need someone to head out there and kill them. Okay. Uh, we're not gonna do that because uh, we're gonna die. <laughs> Horribly. Teach me something. Can you teach me? Yes. Mate? Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. Womp womp. We are missing, like, li literally missing 20. Uh, Money. Okay. Each level increases the protection given my armor, so we need to improve our constitution by five more points, and we can get armor. And that's also useful. Could actually pump all our points to armor and get uh, this. Hmm. Interesting. Actually. Uh, bumping up our constitution to uh, 30 will uh, unlock quite a lot of resistance skills for them. Yeah, so close yet so far. I guess we'll have to sell something. Not the toilet paper though. But yeah. Good to know that he can teach us. Um, uh, animal trophies. Because, to be perfectly honest, the sooner we get it, the better. There should be, yeah, there is a... Okay, there is a weapon trader in here, so we should be able to sell some junk here. What goods Hopefully. have you got? Understood. Hmm, so we can sell... We can really sell a lot. Oh, oh, wait. We do have some junk that we can sell. Hmm. Probably not healing potions. Uh, ooh, we need to drink this because this will give us extra XP. Um. Hmm. You didn't leave. Okay. I suppose we can sell uh, natural elix. Keep the mana. Yeah, let's sell natural elix at least for now. Let's sell maybe five electronics crap just to have a little bit more money. There we go. Okay. Teach me something. Yes. Animal trophies, way our first skill. Boop. Nice survival plus one. Okay, we've got about ninety elixir, which is bugger all. Boop. Something just got bugged. Okay. 
Hmm, let's see. Now, I'm just wondering, are there any quests that we could potentially do over here? Well, Although I could actually go out and maybe you patch them up. I want to give people a chance. Hunt a couple of creatures, so um, I'll get some stuff to sell. <laughs> and just see how well this armor can, you know, hold off against. The those damnable chickens. Bertram, they... I heard they might be getting a resupply soon. Hmm? Wait, wait. One moment. What now? Seeing as you're looking to settle down here, you'll be needing to make friends, won't you? So, friend. Why don't you head down to the tavern and bring me something back? Going to get drunk on guard duty? You're going to get drunk on guard duty? It'll take more beer than you can carry to go to my head. Come on, I'm stuck here. Least you can do is get me a pint. What do you want from the tavern? Beer, water, hops, barley. That touch of genius, nectar of the gods. Oh, now I really need a drink. No. Wouldn't say no to a good beer myself. For sure. Okay. Save here. Nothing in this junk pile over here. There is this building that I have not checked, so maybe there is something. Yeah, we all know someone like this. <laughs> yeah. Nothing wrong with an occasional pint. Well, oh, healing potion. Wait, wait, wait. Actually, we should probably read those. No white gemstone, so these are something to get so good at. Yeah, so that's actually for later, like a lot later. Uh, so no, this antitoxin, that's food, plants, tools, materials, other, and supplements. Oh, these are the written. Uh, things for recipes. Ah, we need chemistry, unfortunately, but still. A small healing portion, a small energy reserve. Yeah, I'll be doing chemistry as well. So many things to get. Uh, okay, that's the way to the... The pit. Not going there. But yeah, I should probably consider getting shield as well if I'm, you know, kind of trying to do anything melee. Okay. I do believe we can actually expand our cooking. Let's see if there is a creature that we can potentially nab somewhere around here. It's kind of getting dark, so I have to be careful. Here comes the chicken. Okay. 
Hey. Whoops. Honestly, do not know what that was. I think that might be the doggo. If we can actually drag him a little bit further because I honestly don't know if I'm actually hitting him or not. I think he got bored. Oh, that's a clumsy rock board. Okay. I guess I am out of arrows, so we're finishing this melee. That took a while. Oh, a lot more. Metal scrap, claw, electronic scrap. scrap. Yeah. Let's actually... Where's that chicken? There it is. Okay. Extra... Uh, two claws, okay. Uh, raw meat and... Yeah, we need a lot more arrows, unfortunately. But I guess a little bit of scavenging here and there won't hurt. And do a quick save. Kind of gonna uh, walk around, see what I can, you know, find here. Besides death, this looks looks like an interesting place, especially with those crosses, you know. Definitely is getting dark. Oops. Not what I wanted to achieve. I... survived somehow okay some glowing creatures over there actually let's light up a torch so I can potentially maybe see something okay I thought that there was something there. Unfortunately, not. Okay. Chicken's probably gonna get us. Whoa! Easy, easy, easy. Nice. 
Okay, so we need to try and execute combos. Okay, so if we need to try nothing wrong with fried chicken. Yeah, you're right. But yeah, I need to kind of uh, learn how to uh, claw and bone. Okay. How to work with those combos here. Okay, let's munch a bit more meat. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, there is some structure over here, or the remains of a structure. Okay. Oh, oh there is a mana potion. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so there were there were some ships flying about. Fortunately, they didn't spot us. Otherwise, that would probably be in trouble. Okay. Yeah, I mean, the, those were uh, the Alps, actually. The, the, um, the ships or planes patrol uh, the land. So, it actually is nothing unusual, <laughs> in a way. Uh-oh. It's the chicken. Okay, so we can survive more than one chicken at once, so that's good. My meat supplies are kind of running a little bit low. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be pretty good, you know, to just call it flying taxi. Get you whatever you want. Ooh, this looks interesting. Someone was chilling over here. Okay, the game is saved. Teeth and raw meat, that's good. Okay, we are collecting quite a lot of teeth, so that's good. Okay, let's get up here because this looks like an interesting place. Right, so let me see. More meat! Ooh. Live blood, interesting. Uh, okay. I honestly do not want to know what transpired here. Uh, yeah, I can block. I think, yeah. Uh, but the problem is, um, blocking actually um, rem reduces your stamina. And the stamina is kind of the issue. So I'd rather, you know, walk around so I can recharge stamina so I can start attacking again. Uh, so that's that's the idea, but I'm gonna try and experiment with blocking as well Ugh. 
Oh, we could actually potentially maybe sleep here. Can we actually add tags on the map? Set marker. Uh, we can just set one marker. Unfortunately, it's, it's not as good as, uh, uh, you know, the map on... Oh, okay, that's me. Uh, map uh, in Valheim where you can add your points. Uh, that's where you are. <coughs> Ooh. Okay, come here, chicken. <coughs> So I'm probably gonna block and yeah. Okay, that's a good combo. Smack! Oof. Yeah, combat requires some getting used to. <clears throat> But yeah, looks like we can block. More meat! Uh, we're not going there, I think. Uh, actually, I'm gonna save, and then I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna get my ass kicked. Yeah. <coughs> oh! Okay. Right, those guys are no fun. We're going in. I'm going away. Actually, since these sleeping bags are sort of nicely prepared for us, I can just like. Sleep until the morning. That's better now I can see things. Yeah. And we're full health, so that's also good. Let's see what's around here. A guy who's probably gonna kill us, so noob. I do not have enough, you know, skills or equipment good enough to deal with that. Yeah. Well, I think I can collect that. Oop, there we go. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's like, basically, with uh, with this game, uh, you know, it's like in Valheim. If you see a new creature, it's probably gonna kill you. <clears throat> and there are a lot of boys, unfortunately. I think we have kind of aggroed it, but let's see. Can I... Is it this call? Yeah. Mini T Rex, yeah. That mini T Rex bit my face off. Okay, that's death number seven. So we're not going right, we're not going left, so the only way is to go back. <laughs> oh, man. There's another one of those buggers. 
it is possible to kind of uh, walk around them because they do give you a little bit of a warning. There's that. Yeah, I want to check. This place over here. Ah, oh, we've been here. There's, we must have missed that T-Rex. Ooh, a truck, eh? Yeah, but I don't think you can actually make trucks in here. Okay, let's see. There should be something in here. Unusable first aid, so that's for sale. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Oh yeah, there are some. Ooh. We'll take in all the plants. Okay, this looks like an interesting place. Although it looks like it's occupied, so I don't know. Although, I'm feeling a little bit adventurous, so I could actually... I... Oh, this is a big deal. I Don't just stroll around, run! There were people here. Hmm. Maybe not. Okay, I guess there are no people here. Okay, that was... Get out of our here. house! So why don't you There's just There's nothing leave. for you here. Nothing! You're dead. There are people in here. <laughs> okay. There's that big T-Rex. Well, there is more than one. I. Ow. What? They're friends! No, that's not how it works. That's not how it works! <laughs> Okay, fine. <laughs> oh, there are friends. Oh, no. No. No, 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 no. Okay, yeah, I'm dead. Well, that didn't go according to the plan, unfortunately. Yeah, that would be cool. And yes, uh, try it, Sunder. It's pretty fun. I mean, if you like open world uh, games, uh, you'll probably enjoy it. But warning, this game is janky. As you probably get to see. Uh, right, so we're not gonna go that way. Because that didn't go uh, too well, unfortunately. What can I say? I'm gonna eat more meat. Oh, shit. Don't mind me, just passing through.
So yeah, that's generally what the first, you know, um, part of the game looks like. You're just trying to get stuff running away from pretty much everything. <laughs> right. You know what? Uh, can I actually sit here? No, I can sit here. A place. Just gonna stand here and admire the view. Probably is an enemy underneath, by looks of it. There is a red dot. I don't know if that's not. I don't think that's. Maybe I'm just getting paranoid. Anyways, guys. Um. Yes. Time for me to go. Fortunately. We're out of time for today. <laughs> what experience? Okay, go on, go on. You know, share it, share it. I still have a couple of minutes left, so so let's hear it, let's hear it. <laughs> yeah, what was the weirdest experience? <laughs> Uh, stay for a while and, and because I now you got me curious. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't worry, don't worry about it. Don't. Worry. <laughs> we can chat for a little, but why not? <laughs> so, I'm gonna drink some water and I'm gonna listen to. Okay, I ordered food over the phone, haven't paid yet, then the, uh, I ordered two drinks, but they only made me pay for the drinks. Okay. So they, they've messed up the orders. It does happen. It does happen. I mean, uh, uh, what happened to me is I actually ordered, um, uh, I don't know if you guys uh, play Warhammer, uh, but I ordered, uh, a starter set, effectively, for like a new edition of Age of Sigma, which was called Dominion. And I do believe that box costs... That box costs about... 120 euros? Yeah, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> 100 and... yeah, uh, 120 euros. Um, I obviously had to pre-order it, so um, I had to wait, you know, for in line effectively but it turned out that uh, someone who ordered it before me mm, kind of uh, cancelled the order so they f the shop phoned me and said oh well uh, we've got an order for you uh you can you can grab it if you want it i was like yeah sure cool. and uh, they kind of mixed it up as well and um, uh, my uh, payment method was uh, cash on delivery uh, so someone must have mixed it up and um, uh, they sent it to me um, basically and it was like you know prepaid <laughs> effectively I wanted to give money to the courier and the courier was like hey it's not you know cash on delivery here's your box bye <laughs> I was like um, but yeah in the end I decided to uh, basically uh, call the shop and tell them, yeah, guys, you mix it up. Uh, give me your, you know, bank account details, and I'm gonna send you the money. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I had kind of yeah similar thing. Not not the food, but you know something a little bit more expensive than that. <laughs> but yeah, mm, it was it was kind of amusing in a way. But yeah, uh, uh, mix ups uh, do. But yeah, so yeah. Enjoy your free food. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I mean, I would say depends where you order, really. Uh, I bought it from like a small hobby shop. Yeah. I know what you mean. Uh, I ordered it from the from the small hobby shop that you do just to... They just want to make do like everyone else, so... Uh, and they actually are fairly cheap, you know, so I actually want them to continue uh, being cheap and not go out of business uh, because I enjoy buying things from them, so I send them the money, yeah. So they were actually kind enough to tell me, oh, you don't need to pay for this. 
Oh yeah, pandemic, yeah. <laughs> that that can, you know, screw things up. But yeah, if I were to buy it directly from the company that makes those, those minis, I would be like, hell no. <laughs> you charge exorbitant uh, amounts of money for, uh, you know, uh, small pieces of plastic, you know. You don't really pay your developers well, you know. <laughs> then... You know, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't be worried. But it, in, in terms of you know a small shop, you know, run by hobbyists like us, effectively, yeah, that's a totally different. But yeah, uh, enough of that. So yeah, <laughs> enjoy your free food. Speaking of which, I'm gonna go and uh, make myself supper because yeah. I am a European. We have um, you know breakfast, uh, dinners, and suppers, teas of. course. Um, so I'm gonna go and make myself supper, and I am going to, you know, play more Elix tomorrow, pretty much same time. Yeah. So if you guys are interested, Rob Boy, hopefully we're gonna have some janktastic fun. But yeah, gotta run, have a good uh, day, afternoon, evening, or night. You come from? <laughs> you too, mate. Uh, and next one. Bye.